And sometimes they even they trick TV to get there. Uh, for example, yes men they doing something, but all these attempts are very temporary. So and it always finishes with temporary attempt of uh, artist, politician, or, or citizen to get on the air, uh, give some message, uh, and then yes, uh, uh, usually you cannot have lots of time on TV. Uh, so in museum TV station, we uh, give this uh, possibility to many citizens and artists to give to give uh, artist reports and broadcasts, uh, as well citizen reports and broadcasts. Uh, at Golebi, uh, we s uh, settled here, and we plan to start with artist broadcasting, uh, and later we hopefully till February develop something with citizen broadcasts. Uh, so this is. This is uh, start, so we have start with uh, uh, New York, uh, uh, Cornell University. We decide to do our first broadcast with students uh, in New York because they, uh, they are pretty much engaged with these um, activities in the Wall Street and uh, Occupy New York. And I see also professors of uh, Cornell University and students standing there with uh, protest uh, papers and protesting. Uh, but I also see that they prepare uh, today for us uh, a few artistic uh, broadcasts. And uh, now I give uh, I give a place uh, to Iragli, who is a teacher uh, at Cornell University, and he will uh, present Cornell University and uh, their uh, program. And we start uh, with collaboration with the Amsterdam band, uh, who temporarily gather around the museum TV station, and they are now. Uh, official TV band. Okay, Irakli. We're here. Hi, everyone. Come on, Yoba. Come on, Yoba. I want to start and say basically to introduce our team at Telluride House, which is 100 years old already. And it's really, really amazing to do it this year, 100 years of Telluride House. First of all, I want to say hello. This is amazing uh, for us, the opportunity to be able to do intercontinental netting, intercontinental visual arts. Hopefully the lines keep clear and we can do it. We can kind of engage in this dialogue without interruptions given to, by the power. So here we have uh, four performances and yet we're going to have a little bit of a jam session. We have uh, four parts to our show here. First part is by Michelle Kaiser. It's going to be a visual art with the explanation here, there, and we expect you guys to uh, give us your musical comments okay. on that okay, we'll simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And also after that, after that, after Michelle's piece, it's going to be Esther Fernandez and myself reading Casilla Lorca's poem, and that's going to be also we're going to be interacting with you during that time with all uh, two parts of you. And then uh, Chris Levesque is going to have his own musical composition, uh, which I would say is also very intercontinental for now. And then in the end, we're going to end with uh, the with musical letter, with the musical letter from uh, uh, what we have done with Iraqi Champiani and Cantato in 2004. We're going to be traveling a little bit in time and space all over the earth and uh, all over the world. Uh, and we are going to be talking to you and uh, by the end uh, from that uh, experience after we are done typing we're going to do a little bit of uh, kind of uh, expressing ourselves what we think about what's how do we imagine the world citizen of the 21st century how do we imagine the world without nation states and without all these boundaries so i'm very happy to introduce michelle kaiser who is a visual artist, but also a multimedia artist at Teddy Wright House. All right, we have also Ben ready for Michelle.